back is a 7-zip file. Now you do not need 7-zip install, installed to install this pack and you do not unpack the file. You keep it up, packed up in the 7-Z format. But I'm going to double click on that so you guys can see what's inside of this here. We have an extras folder which is where the fonts and some sounds are included in the preview picture. And then the resources folder which is where all the system files that are going to be getting patched and changed with this pack. Remember do not unpack the file. So you just run 7TSP and there is a portable and an installable version available. I always just use the portable version. And at this point, if you are asked to download Resource Hacker, go ahead and do that. Actually, the program will do it for you if needed. Resource Hacker is a free program which will edit DLL files and CPL files and EXE files. I'm going to remove this pack that I already have in here so we don't have nothing in here. Okay, once you got the GUI up and running here, you want to click on Add on Custom Pack, browse to where your pack is located, and these packs have to begin with 7TSP and they have to be a 7-zip file. They cannot be a RAR or a ZIP, it has to be .7z and has to begin with 7TSP. So just select your pack and click Open. And the program is going to load it up. Alright, now the program's got the pack loaded up. If you click on this picture right here, it will give you a preview of what the icons are going to look like after everything gets installed. So you just click right here on Start Patching. Warning. I'm sure once you get this screen, just click yes. It's going to install fonts, create a restore point, all that. This will take a little bit of time to install, but not very really long. And I recommend that you back up most of your system files manually. I have a folder that I keep all mine tucked away on an external hard drive just in case something happens so you can restore all your files back to default so you don't got to reinstall windows or anything like that. As you can see it, it does create a restore point for you so you can always use system restore most of the time to go back to default system.